Kids Love Studio is a custom built studio and uh, where we hold uh, cooking classes, workshops, food photography, styling. It's everything around food in a very fun environment. so much for inviting me back. I'm so excited. We love having you here. Our philosophy behind the place is uh, to use minimal ingredients which are easily available. At the same time, keep the recipe simple and classical. And I love this philosophy because what I like to do is simplify Moroccan food around the world. And I'm here today with you guys so you can help me simplify Indian cuisine for all the people watching us. Definitely, the stuff you're going to learn today is simple stuff to uh, understand what simple Indian food is. Very seasonal food, easy stuff, fun stuff. So you guys know, uh, maybe some people who are watching don't know, uh, my husband uh, for more than 10 years, yes, um, he's Indian and I actually have an Indian residency, so I am technically Indian. Indian yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the Moroccan Indian fusion. fusion. Yes. Um, fusion how yeah. do we say hello to all our viewers in Indian? You say Namaste. In India. You say Salam. Yeah. Salam. You namaste. You say Sasriyakal. Salam. Namaste. Hello. What up? How you doing? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a cultural Mix. place. And I love that about India. So all we can say right now is let's get started. making today today we're making a simple chicken biryani which is easy to make and let's enjoy it making today oh yummy okay let's go do that <laughs> yeah step one preparing the ingredients wash the rice in cold water three times run your hands into the rice when you're washing it so that we remove all the starch in it Soak the rice in water for 20 minutes. Finely slice the onions. Chop the tomatoes. Finely chop the mint and cilantro. In a large pot, add some oil. After the oil heats up, add few sticks of cinnamon, green cardamom and cloves. Add the sliced onions. Fry them until they become golden brown. Add the chili. Cook for one minute with the onions till the onions are evenly brown. Add the chopped mint and the cilantro. Add the ginger garlic paste. Coriander powder. Chili powder. Salt. Add the chopped tomatoes and cook them for 3 minutes till they become moist and soft. Step 2 Cooking the chicken Now that we have a beautiful sauce, add the chicken. Cook the chicken with the sauce for about 10 minutes. Add the yogurt and combine it with the sauce. Sprinkle some more mint and cilantro. Adjust the salt. Cover the pot, reduce the heat to low and cook it for 5 minutes. 
After 5 minutes, turn off the heat and set aside. Step 3. Cooking the rice. Boil some water. Add the rest of the chopped mint and cilantro and salt. Drain the rice completely and add the rice to the boiling water. Cover the pot and cook the rice on high heat until it's half done. Now the rice is half done, let's add it to the chicken. Strain the rice with the colander thoroughly and add to the gravy. After you cover the sauce with the rice, tuck the rice into the gravy and continue adding rice. Return the rice and the chicken pot onto the heat. Cover the pot and cook it on low heat for about 10 minutes. Check it out, our biryani is done. You know it's cooked when your rice is nice and curled. To serve it, scoop deep to get the gravy and the rice. Garnish it with some fried onions and few mint leaves. Thank you. So what are the three tips we have to do to make this biryani successful? Yeah, I think the three most important tips, uh, tips for the biryani are uh, make sure you have a lot of water when you're boiling the rice. Uh, if you're doing a one kilo rice, you have about five to seven liters of water mm. boiling. And second tip would be use uh, very minimal masalas. Don't over spice your biryani because you won't get any taste of the biryani. And cook it on low heat when you add the rice and cook it under steam. Wow, so we do these three things, exactly. we assure the best biryani. biryani. I assure you. Also, you told me there are multiple types of biryanis in India. Can you tell me the major types? You have two types, pakki and kachi. Pakki is the cooked gravy. Kachi is the raw format, where you marinate the meat raw and cook it with the rice. Ah, and uh, this one is from which region? Uh, this one is basically a South Indian based biryani. It's a dum biryani, which is a pakki biryani. That means we are cooking the gravy and layering with the rice. That was amazing. That's right. <laughs>